guys welcome to your fourth C++ tutorial um, on this tutorial we'll be talking about uh, declaring uh, arrays and initializing arrays so first of all go ahead and open up uh, from the previous uh, tutorial we did go to your and open up the main.cpp file and get rid of any all, uh, all the other lines of code we had except the following one that you see here on screen uh, if you haven't done so, just pause the video and go ahead and do so, and resume the video. So let's get started. First, we have, if, if you remember when we talked about declaring variables, we had a uh, integer, uh, int type variables, a double, uh, float, stream, and car variables. Well, the same thing applies to arrays. So for this tutorial, we'll be declaring an uh, integer array. So let's go ahead and type int and I'll name my array number array and then what we must do, we must open a bracket and close bracket and inside of this we must put the number of elements that we want, that we want to be in, inside of our array so for this story I'll just put number 5 you can put any number you want to so here we just declared our array but I want to initialize it so I'll put some elements inside our array to do so we just open and close bracket then we enter the elements, so I'll just enter 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Uh, then we just put a semicolon at the end. Uh, so now we have uh, declared and initialized our array with 5 elements. The elements are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So now this is a simple tutorial, so we'll just, all we'll do is just display the first element on the array. And if you didn't know, so uh, uh, the first uh, element in the array is basically held in subscript zero. So, as you see here, the array we declared has five elements, and the numbers go from zero to four. That's five elements. So, here number one in the number one element in the array is held in array subscript zero. Number two in array subscript one. So let's just print out the first subscript so let's just go ahead and type C out and we type um, our array name that we declare which is called number array and the subscript will put zero and just go ahead and put end line at the end. So all this will do is basically display print out on the console window uh, number A subscript zero which is this array right here with five elements and subscript zero is one so all it will do is just display number one so if we built it and you can go ahead and build it or compile it so once it build and the window pops up all we should see is basically number one so let me just while well it's still building it should be done very soon there it was, it was built now let me run it So, as you see, we got out number one. Array subscript zero is number one. Let's try something else here. Let's try array subscript two instead. So, since array subscript zero is number one, array subscript two should be number three. So, let's see if number three will come up. Let's rebuild our project. I don't know why it takes so long. Okay, it was built. Now let's run it. There we go. We get number three. So that was our tutorial for our fourth C++ tutorial, uh, talking about arrays. And there are a lot of types of arrays, double strings, and etc. But we'll talk about them later, in, in later time. Uh, for now, on just uh, please check out my other tutorials, and there will be another tutorial coming up pretty soon. Uh, and please subscribe to my channel and watch all my other videos. Thank you very much.